Good morning. thing again and not made a video in ages and I really really enjoy doing them but my inner perfectionist just hates me making bad content so the catch-22 is that I just don't do it and then I'm like that's not helping either I have absolutely no idea what this video is going to be a day in the life what I eat in a day it might end up being over more than one day I have no idea but I thought screw it I'm just gonna pick up my camera and film some stuff. It is 9.30 right now and that is so much later than I thought I was going to be up and moving this morning but you know it happens. My initial plan was to go to the gym at like 7.38 and that obviously hasn't happened so I think I'm gonna have a chilled morning, have some breakfast now and then start my day and then go to the gym just before lunch. There's no point in me trying to go now on an empty stomach, not, not my thing. I'm gonna take you through my day. I'm my own worst enemy and I love creating jobs for myself so today I've actually got a really busy day of doing nothing but stuff that I've created for myself. So I have decided my new project in life is to depop my entire life. I'm going to try and be really, really determined to actually do it. So we'll see how that goes. Here's me making breakfast in hopefully not very long. Hello, welcome to breakfast time you know what's going down. So, I mean, I have showed making my oats a million billion times, so I'm not gonna properly show it, but oats are going down. Yes, I put courgette in my oats. Okay, I'm gonna explain once and for all why I put courgette in my oats. Number one, I tried it by accident. No, not by accident. I obviously saw like the trend ages ago, years ago, when bodybuilders always used to put courgette in their oats and I thought they were mental. So I tried it, expecting to hate it. And I was like, oh my God, it's 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 good. Um, and then and literally ever since I've only done that because I prefer the texture. It's not as kind of claggy as without it in. Oats can be quite stodgy without. It also adds volume. So you get more oats, more bang for your buck. So it keeps me fuller for longer. And I like eating a high volume food so it like fills up my tummy. But micronutrients, obviously getting extra veggies in at breakfast time is only going to be a good thing. And then you can't taste it. You literally can't taste it. So if you're worried that you can, you can't. So that's why I put courgette in my oats. I'm not crazy. I've been using these recently and honestly these are elite. Half almond milk, half water. Microwave <laughs> for three minutes. Hello. Okay, so it will probably be easier if I just talk over this. So what I'm doing now is adding in the protein paste and that is the key to non-lumpy protein oats. You kind of mix the powder into a paste with milk and look how creamy it is. Literally such a winner. If you haven't done this before, you need to. And then I decide which toppings I want to use. My mum actually picked these blackberries fresh from some bushes that we found on a dog walk. So I'm using those on top. And then also using raspberry dark chocolate from Lidl, which is the best. And there we have it. Breakfast is served. I was about to do a time lapse of me making my bed. But there's someone in my bed. Explain yourself. <laughs> I 
as you may have been able to tell, I have changed into workout stuff in a bid that it will encourage me to actually go to the gym. My leggings are my protein. I'll leave my discount code on the screen. These are still on the website and they are literally the nicest leggings ever. They're so soft. High-waisted, perfect length as well. And and my protein bra too. Yeah. Also, you're just gonna have to forgive the state of my face and my hair for the first half of this video because if you shower and do your makeup before the gym, I'm not judging. I know that some people like to kind of feel confident and stuff like that, but for me, I just feel like then I'd have to do it twice. So that's why I do like going in the morning because you can kind of just go and then get ready for the day straight after. But now I'm going a little bit after midday. I'm still not gonna get ready for the day until I get back because then I'll have to do it twice. So lazy hacks. If we ignore the flat dog, my room is a little bit of a mess at the moment because this is some of the Depop stuff that I sorted through yesterday. So the plan today is to take photos of as much of this as I can and start getting up on Depop. I will link my Depop in the description of this video if you wanna go and check it out. If you want to go and grab yourself some basically so many new clothes that either just don't fit me or I bought double of because I bought them for myself and then they got gifted to me as well. Definitely go and check my Depop out and you'll be donated to charity inadvertently in return for some high quality items. So yeah, but I've got so much stuff to go through. My wardrobes are just overflowing. amazing what you can find. <gasps> no! Do you guys want to appreciate my collection of sensible lawyer shoes? <laughs> and these are the shoes that I wear. Lovely. This is my keep pile of leggings. It's better than it was and that's mental. It's quite crazy because I remember I had two pairs of leggings. I had <laughs> this pair of Gymshark leggings and the same pair in black. When I was in at university doing CrossFit, I would literally wear those two pairs on and off and then just have to wash them between because I had no leggings. And I always remember seeing girls with stacks like this. I was like, how, like ha how, how? I, found, I refound my Africa hat that I got in Uganda when I was volunteering. I mean, how cool are we? Do I look cool? No one needs that many leggings. Okay, pausing there because I'm gonna go to the gym now. God, since when was it like a billion degrees? Hello, so I am back from the gym now. Mm, no one else do this, where you take a massive drink and then don't drink any of it whilst you're there and then end up really, really thirsty. 
can't relate just had a shower i feel all clean i am quite meticulous with washing after i come back from the gym especially i like to also disinfect my phone my headphones i did my camera as well everything else that i touch when i go there just to be on the safe side and obviously wipe down all the equipment when you're there and hand sanitize before and after i didn't do too much today i kind of showed you a little bit but i didn't really want to film in there properly especially because of everything going on at the moment but definitely in time i will do some workout videos if i build up the confidence to actually film so basically it's lunchtime now Definitely. My go-to when I don't know what to have for lunch is always a toasty. So that's what I'm gonna have. I'm worried that I don't have control. Don't worry, baby, don't worry. Go and get some sleep while you always in a hurry. Okay, get ready to watch the magic unfold. I'm using my George Foreman. You literally get the sandwich that you have so carefully made, place it on, give it a pat for good luck, close it up and literally a few minutes you'll have a toasty. Okay, ready? Ta-da! Look at it! It's bloody perfect. Ow, ow, we'll remove with care. Toasty, I'm gonna stuff some salad leaves in there as well. And then I forgot to say, I'm also gonna make a protein shake. I just used 25 grams of protein, 300 mils of almond milk and whiz it up in my Nutribullet. And that is lunch. And I'm probably gonna go and eat it outside because look how sunny it is. Can confirm, bloody delicious. A few moments later. Okay, so this little wardrobe is done. Look how nice and tidy it looks now. I've completely gone through everything and I've added to the Depop pile, which is now a mound of stuff. Right, I've got myself a bloody massive cup of tea. I showed this on my Instagram a few days ago and is this not the best thing you've ever seen in your life? Got this from Sainsbury's, the Father's Day section and feminist inside me was like, why does it have to be dad fuel? It looks like Emma fuel to me. So I bought it for myself. I'm gonna start taking photos of the Depop stuff. Finally, really irrelevant. I've got wisdom toothache at the moment so I just had some caramel snacker jacks and it was literally the most painful thing in my life but I was like it's worth it, it tastes good, ow, but yeah there we go. Let's get taking photos, I need to stop procrastinating, it's like 5pm, fuck my life. Mum's coming, she's trying to barter for my shorts, yeah, it looked good on you! Do these up. <laughs> she's come into the Depop pile and thought oh I'll have some of that, no mum that's not the point, I'm trying to make money, get them off. <laughs> I need to be realistic and just do some. Living like this, testing all my patience. Need a better you every time I drink like a love. God, this is hard work. I'm having a snack. Another one. Another one. Yeah. These. Can I just say are the absolute sheet <laughs> my wisdom tooth evening um i don't know why i'm filming in the mirror but some hours have passed i have i'm exhausted i did a little bit of depopping i got some things up which was good which was productive um i did some instagram stuff some captions it's definitely dinner time i also watched the master chef which i'm gonna watch whilst eating my pizza <laughs> not really in the mood to cook it's so hot today and i just want something quick and easy and i have a couple of these in the freezer so i thought nice quick meal 
So this is the goat's cheese pizza from Muscle Food and it's like a high protein pizza. I'm gonna have it with some broccoli I think because nutrients and stuff. You wanna show you why you don't really need her. Why you don't really need her. Never ever meant to be so sour, baby. Running out of steam every day, be the same. Living like this, testing all my. I have got the goat's cheese pizza, broccoli, and ketchup. And obviously, I brought the extra ketchup upstairs. Semi finals. I look pretty good arms after today. A few moments later. Good evening. So, I've just had my pizza. And me and mum have decided to come on a little post in a walk with the doggy. We're going to take her on a little half an hour lap and then back home. And dad has bought me a tub of ice cream, so that's going to be dessert. So can we appreciate the sky it looks absolutely beautiful this evening and it's so warm. It feels like summer. They all want something now. I don't got a ton of gold and fuck around. See my eyes got money bags, I don't rest I might be a Nike fiend, I need my checks Headed for the love, right? Ain't just hype, it's not overnight I take my advice <sighs> We are back from our walk It is now 9.30 And it's time for a tub of ice cream Dad surprised me earlier, what a legend With my toothache at the moment, this is just what I need, so could eat this, watch more MasterChef and call it a day. It's been quite a good day. I love the feeling of clearing out stuff, tidying up and with this free time that I have now until my course starts, I feel like I want to use it to start fresh. I know that's really cliche, but I do think it helps productivity to just have a clean room, just the essentials, because I feel like I was accumulating so, so much extra stuff that I just don't need and it was making me feel really bogged down so I'm releasing it all, selling it all, making a bit of money as well which is much needed at the moment and yeah that concludes this video. Please leave in the comment section which video you would like me to film next. I will probably do less like a vloggy and do more like a proper video style but let me know and I will write them all down and try and pick one. I'm so bad with putting it off because of this whole perfectionism thing. I actually wrote a caption on that tonight just because I put so much pressure on myself to make good content. I just don't do it and that's really stupid. So if you guys tell me what you want, I will pick a, pick a video idea out of a hat and then just bloody do it and yeah. Okay, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.